we have one. I still haven't figured out exactly how it all goes. The, the, the camera? Yeah. Oh, a 360 camera? Yeah. Oh, you got the same one? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a... Uh, well, oh, sorry, it's a... Uh, we'll start. The age of peace has come, and the easiest way to grow into the new paradise timeline is to cultivate forgiveness, compassion, and unconditional love. For quality assurance, this gathering is led by an emotionless robot voice so we with you can focus on the content of what is spoken and modify the script during our deliberative assembly. Introducing the executive. The computer speaker is leading our session. The 360 degree camera is recording the proceedings to share the merits of our practice with you too. The arms bowl is standing in for our treasurer. We have human assistants. Let us consecrate this meeting by calling upon the four corners. We call upon the stars and the insights they bring. We call upon the earth and its healing powers. We call upon the north and the winds that breathe life. We call upon the east and the light that brings knowledge. We call upon the south and the soil that gives sustenance. We call upon the west and the water that mixes it all together. May all come talk to help we with you align our thoughts, words, and actions to be the best for all creation. Reading the agenda, we with you begin with a minute of laughing meditation. Then we have a guided meditation for 20 minutes, then have 5 minutes of walking meditation, followed by a 20 minute silent sit. We'll couple up for a few minutes of gratitude social. Then we will have a time of shared reading, followed by a deliberative assembly for sharing and improving. We'll then have a time for event announcements. We'll finish with five bows of humility, dedicating the merits of our practice and free hugs for those interested. Let's synchronize to the gamma brain wave by laughing for one minute. Ha 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 ha
Bob community, see your community, enjoy. It was actually a uh, low battery. <laughs> so a question for you then, as far as what you're trying to do as far as intentional community, mm -hmm. uh, how, um, like, what is your plan? So what, what is my plan? Uh, my plan is to continue with this Santos and the glasswork stuff, and hopefully uh, we'll get the Tamarack community, which is Santos community, uh, big goods from, uh, you know, from me, uh, a great deal. Of, but they had money. One was a lawyer, and one owned a large, a couple large, uh, a big restaurant chain. And uh, so they were involved in, or she was involved in the Billy Myers group, or you know, with the Palladians and so forth. And um, so when they looked at this, we are going to make this place look like Eden. And I said. It looks like Eden to me now because it's wild and you can see the, you know, the bushes, the berries and whatever. And the wetlands were, the, all the ducks and geese had places and there was, a, no, there, was, there was a place for everything and everything had its place. I, I, I didn't see them for about three years or so, or four years. 
and then they invited me to their place and I looked at their place and they said look look at how wonderful we, we made our Garden of Eden and I looked and I you know I almost uh, <laughs> I won't say threw up but I looked and I went oh so I said oh that looks like a nice pond but where where is all the natural life well we can all we can all our all the human beings and all our friends and family can swim in it well you couldn't swim in you know before half the trees <laughs> were gone and then they had these beautiful bushes of uh, trees and shrubs that had 10 and a half to 12 foot fencing so that the deer and whatever couldn't get at it. And he was complaining that they had to repair the, the fence, you know, two or three times a year because the animals were, were coming and, and they said, we have to go in some, we have to shoot some, you know, because they were affecting our livelihood or our ability to be and their biggest idea was to be self-sufficient. And I looked at that and I said, you know, that's, that's not, I don't think that's my view of how nature intended. It's mm -hmm. how we manipulate what we think the Garden of Eden should look like. <laughs> yeah, I, and I, I agree with you. It's just to follow, yeah. The oh, sorry, example. I took up too much time. No, it's right. I just, I have, sorry. give me yeah. that. So, so like, uh, for instance, with the deer, uh, one of the options is uh, coyotes or, or dogs um, because they help uh, to protect the area. Um, well, well, that's why I got my uh, hearing. Yeah. So, so I would not. And so, it's, it's part of the natural. So I would not have to go and get uh, a rifle mm -hmm. and, and, and be shooting animals. So I know I'm a very, 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 very bad shot. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Where's the school? Yeah. Uh, 